You have a lot of people out there saying, give it up. You all lost. <laughs> it's, it's Go on about your business. No. And this is something that we cannot do. No. What people need to understand, this is not just about an election. This is about the integrity of our election. That's right. And we, the people, the 73 million people that voted mm -hmm. for President Donald J. Trump is questioning it, and nobody should tell you that uh, you're being, you're spreading misinformation uh -huh. by questioning some things that does just doesn't seem right. That's right. You and see we shouldn't saying? have to comply with the law. Mm -mm. We shouldn't That's have to. Right. And let me just tell you something. The system has to be free and fair for everybody. Yes, yes. And if it's not a free and fair system, people are not going to want to participate in it. What we just did was turn our country into tyranny. Yeah. Into like a dictatorship. A dictatorship. Into yeah. like a banana republic. Mm. So this is why the things that we're questioning, it needs to be looked into. Yeah. I don't see how Biden can move forward without this being looked, being into. looked into. Because what you just did was disenfranchise the 73 million voters that voted for President Donald J. Trump. 73 million plus. Real people. That's right. Not the dead people. Not dead people. But real people. That's right. That's what you all need to know. Yeah. So I said all of that to say this here. You know, they're supposed to be doing another recount in Georgia. Okay. All right. Okay. But here is the deal. What's the deal? It's not going to be good to just do a recount without doing an audit first. Mm -hmm. An audit must be done. Okay. Okay. Now, we know that some things happen when it comes to Stacey Abrams. Right. And what she was doing down there in Georgia with the Secretary of State. That's right. Right? right. Okay, so she it looked like, I don't know if they had a backdoor deal. Yeah. I, I call it a backdoor deal. Yeah. Stacey Abrams had a backdoor deal with the Secretary of State where you don't look at the signatures on the ballots whenever they come in. Am I correct? Right. There was actually a civil action lawsuit filed by the Democrat Party mm -hmm. of Georgia, which was advocated by Stacey Abrams. Um, the lawsuit did lead to that particular agreement mm -hmm. uh, with the consent degree. And the lawsuit actually stated, Diamond, that absentee ballot signatures matching procedure, notification process when an absentee ballot is rejected for any reasons, and procedure for curing a rejected absentee ballot violated the First and Fourteenth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Stop right there. So she's saying uh -huh. that that violated the First Amendment and the Fourteenth Amendment. And the Fourteenth Amendment, but mainly arguing that minorities were disproportionately affected when they had their ballots rejected. Well, wait a minute. Okay, well, I did, that doesn't make sense. No, it do not. Because me as a minority, as a black person, uh -huh. if I do it by the book, I request my ballot, I send it in, you check right. my signature. How is how am I disproportionately affected by that? Right. Like right. so so that lets me know in my mind, and this is my humble opinion, yeah. this was set up to cheat. Well, put some cheating and fraud to go along. Ba basically, go on. because of the degree, the, the consent degree allowed local election officials to notify a voter by phone, mail, or email, or in, you know, in a timely fashion, mm -hmm. about problems with their signatures. Mm -hmm. But my problem is this: Come on. if they had the opportunity to notify uh, voters and and make sure that the signatures was accurate, then why are they not allowing Republicans to check the signatures? Mm. What are you hiding here? What are here? you hiding? That's I right. want people to understand voter fraud. Voter fraud is this here, impersonating fraud at the polls, false registrations, yes. duplicate voting, fraudulent use of absentee ballots, yes. buying votes, illegal assistance at the polls, yeah. ineligible voting, like illegal aliens voting in this here, dead people voting, yeah. altering the vote count, um, ballot petition fraud. Those are some of the fraudulent activities. And if any of those activities took place in this election, in this election that is voter fraud. That's right. Now, that's there's right. a difference between voter fraud and election fraud. That's I right. just explained voter fraud, but election fraud is when you talk about the system. The system. Like the systems that's being used and how the votes are tabulated and yeah. how the votes was pulled from Donald Trump yeah. and given to Biden. That's the fraud inside of the system. That's right. So it's two things that we look like we're fighting here. It is. It's, 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 it's voter fraud and election fraud. So then that brings me to two questions that I have. Mm -hmm. I want to know 
what was the legal reason mm. for stopping the voting on election night? Mm. You know that everything all of a sudden came to a screeching halt. Right. You know, there was no natural disasters. There was no war, no acts of terrorism. There was the machines broken? Mm. Mm. And then how did everybody decide to stop in several different states? all at the same time. Not only that, in Georgia, he was at, they was reporting 99%. Yeah. It should have been called for President for, Trump. For President and Trump. it was not. Another thing, mm -hmm. who authorized the removal of Trump votes, okay, at a particular time? The votes that was allocated to Trump. So you know when they're counting the votes, mm -hmm. those votes are tallying up mm -hmm. their additions, they're being added. Mm -hmm. But according to the timestamp entry from the New York Times, who got their data information from Addison Research, in Pennsylvania on November the 3rd at 11.08 p.m., mm -hmm. President Trump all of a sudden lost 17,000 877 votes. Mm -hmm. It was removed from his account, his count. While at the same time, Biden gained 17,930 votes. Mm. So what I want to know is if these votes were de deleted or removed from President Trump's tally amount at 11.08 p.m. on November the 3rd, who authorized it? Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's what interesting. What reason did they have to remove those that, votes? That's, that's an interesting concept. Uh -huh. On top of that, I know you all are hearing about these George, George judges. Yeah. These judges in the lower courts, how they're ruling and they're not ruling in our favor. But mm -hmm. here is the deal. What's the this deal? is going to have to go to the U.S. Supreme, Supreme Court, Court because constitutional laws was was broken here. That's is what right. I'm saying. It's up to the state legislators to put laws in place. You yes. can't make backdoor deals. Well, even down to the deal that was made with with uh, Abram and uh, Reffenberger. That's the Secretary yeah, the of State. Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. the, the state legislator is not the one that approved that. Mm -hmm. That was that was not done under the state legislator. Right. That was done under the election board. Right. That makes this here whole thing null and void. That's really. right. It's illegal. It's, it's illegal. It's yes. illegal. Yeah. And with these judges, if they're not bringing enough, if an affidavit uh -huh. or, 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 or hundreds of affidavits is not enough evidence, right. how about you bring in the millions of ballots and let's view the ballots That's and right. let's see, let's distinguish which ones are real uh -huh. and which ones are fake. And please don't give me this six feet crap, this, this coronavirus crap, because all you got to do is this is a ballot right here. Mm -hmm. All I got to do is look at it and then I pass it five feet over so it can get six feet to you mm -hmm. so that you can now see the back. Uh-huh. To it's make sure it's accurate. Uh -huh. That's all we have to That's do. That's all we're asking for is fairness here. Fairness. And we want to make sure that the integrity of our elections are intact. That's right. But you just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.